Out. Established. Commencing experiment. Oh. Hello, everyone. So, last time we dealt with well, we got joined by some of the cast of Gundam Double O. Let's just put it that way. And so now we've got more robots on our crew. And we are stepping into uncharted territory, at least for me. I've seen some of this played in the Let's Play. But it's with the other... But however, this is with the other of our two protagonists. Soji. The veteran pilot. But I am playing as Shatose who basically gets the more Gundam origin of falling into the cockpit of her of the giant robot. So now, we're going to deal with that stuff. Okay, so let me do a few things here. All right. some settings on this. I'm using a new software. I'm using OBS's uh, streaming software now. So. Alright. Unfortunately, they're mixed. The way they have the mixing information is a little different. But anyway, first things first. We have a bunch of, as you can see on screen, we now have a large pile of cash. So now what we need to do is find something to do with it. And, uh, and by find something to do with it, I mean we have a whole bunch of robots, yo. Robots to install parts on, all sorts of other stuff, so. The Quant and the Raphael Gundam. Uh, let's, take a look, let's take a look at these real quick. So the Quant, decent armor and HP, not, and really good range on it for Raphael. Um, the double O quant is tank has more energy with special abilities. But is less mobile, which it dodges less. And has less armor. So we need to do something with you. Alright. Doing up the range of attacks, which is good, because that means because the further back you can attack from. The more damage you can do before they get close enough to hit you. You have more energy, so I can give you a barrier field. barrier field. And for now, I'll give you a consume... Oh, let's... Look up your range. Yeah, it's more dodgy, but it's less armored. bring up a little tankier. Uh, what I'm going to do is make it tankier, is what I'll do. So if it even hits it, it doesn't deal as much damage to it. Raphael, not much cash left, but what cash I'm going to use. Let's make it out here. But not dodgy. Not me. Mm, all my power parts for the Raphael. Up your sight range. My very field for you. Currently, your 
find her things with water. What is its um weapon type? Okay, its big stuff is energy weapon based. But the rest of it is ammo based. So actually I want to give you the cartridge. Alright. Quickly save before we continue with the loadout before we continue on the next mission. And one other thing, um... Proud Ace, Proud Ace, Proud Ace. You do not have Proud Ace. Let's fix that, because if we give you Proud Ace, then you get a whole bunch of new special abilities once you get those kills. So we want to give you that as soon as possible. Especially since the longer you're going to be around with the crew, or the latecomers, you're going to have more time, less time to get those thresholds. Thresholds. All right, next mission. All right. So I mean, there's new overlay because it doesn't block the text. It kind of blocks the enemy mech area, but it doesn't block the on-screen subtitle text. How's it looking, Doctor? You're really gambling with your life, you know, keeping on commanding like that in this condition. I can't ignore my duties during a crisis. You say that as if this janitor dirty hasn't been one long crisis. That's why I have to keep on commanding. That's enough of your sass. Hmm. So, I understand what you're getting at, Commander. So, officially, I'll note this down as overwork. Thank you. But from now on, you better listen to what I tell you to do. Your friend asked me to keep you alive. I can't do that if you ignore my orders. And if it comes down to it, you might even need surgery. And even then, it might not be enough. I understand, Doctor. But I have to make it, and so does the Yamato. I know, Commander. I know. So, I know enough about Yamato. Sorry to know what happens to Okida. I knew it. Your mobile units are Gundams. Yeah. It's kind of surprising, though, isn't it? That Gundams exist even in alternate worlds? It's like they keep developing it in other universes in order to sell model kits or something. But that'd just be crazy. Not only that, but the fact that the mobile suit category is so common, too. Oh, sorry. That's a minute German. Hey, voice actor stuff, neat. I remember that came idea of what voice I'm looking for. Not only that, but the mobile suit category is so common too. It's not just the name that matches up either. I don't know how I know, but I do. Tobia, your mobile units are Gundams too, aren't they? Um, well, um, I know this subject came up earlier, but I'm not so sure. Setsuna means that... Alright, you know what? I'm actually going to use this... There's a lot of... There's a lot of Gundams? Gundams aren't just sorting mobile suits. The feet of people's thoughts can change the world with overwhelming power. Ah, oh, crap. I keep... Where is it? There we go. Okay. Trying to figure out these guys' voices sound like. But changing the world shouldn't happen by force. That's why it's imperative we proceed press on beyond Gundam. Satsuna is a... interesting person. What's the matter? Oh, I've been thinking your world sounds like it's seen its fair share of trouble too. But Gundams play a but Gundams play a huge part in war in our world too. I. Uh, 
So I'm trying to figure out some of the voice acting stuff here. I hear Gundams were always central to battle, ever since the one year war between Earthnoids and Space Noids. Oh, wow! So, okay, so that's something for the localization. Because. Don't tell me you're secretly a Gundam Weeaboo, Kincaid. I'm pretty sure the Japanese audio there is Otaku, not. Sorry about that. Otaku, not Weeaboo. That is probably specifically for the localization for the English localization. Although if it was Weeaboo in the Japanese version, that'd be kind of hilarious because it means we're getting a level of cultural cross pollination that I was almost like getting prepared for. Um. I piloted a newly constructed Gundam around at 91. You learn a few things. Yes, he's the pilot from, F from the F-91 movie. You're talking about the F-91 you piloted during the Cosmo-Babylonia Wars, right? Like I said, Gundams have special status among mobile suits even now. Yeah, some of the people I work with call Gundams super robots. Really? Do you call Gundams the same? Do you call Gundams the same thing in your world? No, in our world, there are, those are a different type of mobile suit. I'd love, to hear, I'd love to hear more about the world you came from. Unfortunately, that's going to have to wait. It's just about time for us to warp. We're going to have to jump a longer distance than usual, we hope, usual if we hope to get away from the enemy. Everyone needs to be alert and standing by. Roger. You got Scottish for a second there. Satsuna, Tyria, we'll talk later. Ugh, and I needed to ask him something, too. Let me guess. Something about tactics? No, he and Akira were alone together during the line crossing celebrations, and I wanted to ask about that. You, ha you have a habit of prying, Shitose. Why don't you just ask Yamamoto? I tried. She keeps changing the subject on me and won't answer any of my questions. Tactical officer and instant, y instant Yamamoto, huh? What a parry! But you know, I saw Tactical Officer Kodai and Operations Officer Mori flirting in the observation room. What? Is the Tactical Officer that much of a ladies' man? I don't know. But judging by his personality, I doubt he has any feelings towards either Ensign Yamamoto or Operations Officer Mori. Soji would be pretty jealous if we were to tell him later. So we should totally tell him later. Uh... You must think we're being frivolous. It's not that... I was thinking this world and ours aren't that different after all. People live their lives the best they can, no matter what world we happen to be in. We're fighting to save those people. Later, we can eat ice cream and paint each other's toenails. I see, I see. You are very much a Gundam yourself. I will take that as a compliment. I, I hope that's made as a compliment. Inputting, inputting galactic uh, destination coordinates. Galactic longitude 274 marked. 78 degrees. Galactic latitude negative 12 marked. 73 degrees. Distance is 63.7 parsecs. So I think we're doing the Star Wars thing of parsec as distance as opposed to parsec as measurement of time. Confirmed. Coordinate, coordinate axis fixed. Wave motion engine pressure rising. Engine pressure criti critical. Three, five, four, three, two, one. Warp. Warp. Jump. What is this? It feels different from usual. That's putting it lightly. Warp should be over an instant, but we're still in the middle of this one. Situation report. The ship appears to be suspended in warp. That's not good. I see. We're stuck in the one nanosecond it takes the warp to happen. This this has never happened before. Well, yes. Otherwise, if it happened before, you wouldn't be quite so panicked over the circumstance. What happened to the Yamado? XO. Yes, sir. Mori, go check out the automatic navigation room. Roger. Sorry. Roger. Because you, you know, she's British because she's probably one of the alien space aliens who designed the um, wave motion port. Hmm. 
Misaki? Misaki! Operations Officer Mori? I I think I passed out. What happened? I, I'm not sure. When I came to, I was right here. And then after that, a woman came out from that room. You mean, from the automatic navigation room? We're definitely taking the, uh... Um, tack from uh, Legion Masamoto works of ships very much having souls. It seems like we're out of warp and appear to be in some sort of galactic sargasso. Where are we? Damages, damage inspection, now. Radar and scanners un unresponsive. It appears we can use super space communications. Probably only inside the ship. We're resonating into space so we can't reach the outside. Commander, it appears we've fallen into some sort of dimensional rift. Again, hyperspace Saigasso, which came up in Captain Harlock. In a place where dimensions interact, intersect. In other words, a dimensional rift. Warning, multiple unidentified objects ahead. Those are all ship remains. It looks like a graveyard. They're probably unable to get out of here and end up drifting along like this for eternity. There we go. Cosmic Sargasso C. Operations Officer Mori returning. How was the automatic how was the automatic navigation room? I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. I see. Gamla's ship at eleven o'clock. Identified as L class cruiser. Identified as L class cruiser. That ship isn't wrecked, it's still alive. Gamla's ship is Gamla's ship is on the left. It's only one ship. Should we attack? I am not going to agree to every single hmm that they put in here or when some character is being contemplated. Have the firepower advantage. The two lions, Mars, and the Bog sink each other. They don't fight each other. The only thing that will happen is both will sink. I'm certain they know that, too. Commander, the enemy ship is attempting to contact us. They're sending over a messenger. So that's the Gamelin messenger. It's a trap. It has to be a trap. The Yemlins claim they know a way to escape this place. But if that's true, why haven't they escaped yet? That's something we need to know. We will know soon enough. We're receiving their messenger. Gamelin is disembarking. From here, from here he almost looks like an earthling. What are you saying? Those things try to destroy our things. They must really look more like monsters. Dude, you're that guy from... From freaking Balance of Terror. The one who, once he notices that the Rhymelins have pointed ears, immediately treats Spock like crap for the remainder of the episode. Hmm. What's wrong, Setsuna? It's best to discard unnecessary prejudice. What would a newcomer like you know about it? They're the ones who tried to blow up Earth. That's enough. He's taking off his he's taking off his helmet. I have no wish to fight here. You default to the male program's pro pronouns when going from the arc. It's pretty clear that they have boobs. Okay. Also, she's got a a, a cowlick. What? No way. She's human. She's humanoid. There's clear, unearthly skin pigmentation of the character. And she's... A woman? But... But... The skin is blue. So that's another species. A completely different civilization. Can you speak Earth Common? I can, tra I can translate your language. More importantly, I'd like a confirmation of something. Is this a Teron ship? Teron? The one called Yamato, I believe. Bling! I am Ensign Melda Dietz of the Galaxy Region 107th, 707th Aircraft Wing. I'm the ship's tactical officer, Susumu Kodai. There are those of you without blue skin in the Great Garland's Empire. There are. Inferior races from systems we have annexed or planets we have colonized. They are second-class Gamelins. Hmm. You. 
And down into the Yamamoto. Ensign Dietz, are you certain you're here to negotiate? And you? Why should I bring trust someone who brings a gun to meet with... And you? Why should I trust someone who brings a gun to meet with a messenger? Kind of going for a, a Warhammer 40k Empire vibe here. Well, Terrans do enjoy bloodshed so much, they'll attack without so much as a formal declaration of war. You are the ones who started this war. My family has held important positions in the military for generations. I swear on our honor, I sweet... I speak truth. What is with her? What is it, Shima? He's lying. The Gablins were the ones who attacked first. My father died in that attack. Lower your weapon, Yamamoto. But that's an order. Yes, sir. It's indeed. I will hand my weapon over to you. What? I want to hear your proposal. Very well. Briefing room. They've sure been talking a long time. That's what gamblins too. They have to make sure their lies are all airtight so they can trick us. I don't think she would do something like that. You've been on her side ever since she landed in the hangar, Setsuna. Is it because she's so cute? It's just my intuition. But you're an outsider, after all. You wouldn't understand them. I suppose not. Give her a break, Captain. Setsuna and Ryoma don't know the circumstance. They may be seeing it objectively. But I wouldn't trust her as far as I could throw her. Does hatred so blind you? I... That's enough, Setsuna. The Gamblin's our enemy. They killed our friends, our family. Hatred can't be allowed to blind us. This is war. You soldiers don't have the luxury of hand holding personal grudges. My head understands that, but not my heart. Chitose. <laughs> hey, Kusaragi. Please excuse me, Captain. I'm going to go cool off in the hangar. I hope Kusaragi is okay. It's probably best to keep leave her be for now. But... No need to worry. This is something she needs to work out on her own. It was my, insens was my insensitivity that hurt her. I... Setsuna, do you know what new types are? No. They're kind of legend of our world. They're people who can understand each other without uttering a single word. At first they were considered the next step in human evolution. Now they're seen as a fairy tale. Communicating without misunderstanding, huh? A quantum wave frame as if someone were Tobias. That means he must be one of them. There's something similar in our world. We call them innovators. Innovators, huh? As in revolutionaries or something, right? Setsuna is the world's first innovator. Like Amuro Ray. I knew it. But perhaps I'm not qualified for such distinction. Setsuna. Hey, Chitose. Ensign Murakumo, don't you think it's rude to open the hatch without knocking first? Sorry, but it's kind of an emergency. What is it? About that messenger. Huh? Akira and I were on guard duty while the tactical officer was talking to her. But now they're done talking, and for the moment, she's going to be stationed on the Yamato. What does that have to do with me? Well, I told him it'd probably be better to have you and Akira guarding her instead of me. It's not like you to give. It's not like you to give an opportunity to be so close. Give up an opportunity to be so close to such a beautiful woman, even if she is Gamelin. I don't see a beautiful woman when I look at her. I only see an enemy I hate. I'm sorry. To be honest, Akira kind of scares me. I figured that since the two of you are so close, it'd be better for everyone if you partnered up instead. But I. There'll also be a chance for the good chance for the two of you to, to you know, talk. Hmm. I suppose. I'll do it. That's a relief. I couldn't stand being in there for much longer. Ensign Murakumo, you didn't suggest me because you heard all that in the waiting room, did you? What are you talking about? Anyway, I'll be waiting for you in the reception in ten. I have to go report to the tactical officer first. Thanks, Soji. I have a question regarding your... I have a question regarding your recent behavior. 
I knew it. You were listening. I guess I shouldn't be surprised since this is your space and all. Inquiry. Do you have fond feelings towards Ensign Soji Murakumo? What? Please reply. Th that's... I... I... He... I... Please reply. Quickly. I... Uh, I suppose I do, but but more like a big brother, not like uh, um, anything else. A big brother? But really, I'm the one who's the big sister. Well, I then I'm I'm I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go. Like I have to go iron. I, I have to go see a man about a dog. Um, don't tell don't tell Instant Murakuma about this, okay? Big sister. <laughs> the wave motion gun I see it's possible in theory wave motion gun generates a powerful dimensional wave motion along its line of fire it's why we call it that calculate yourself we aim at the rift's phase horizon the interfering wave should open an exit but how do they know about the wave motion gun You've been firing it off like it's nobody's freaking business. I mean, you don't shoot it off every major battle, but you fired it at least a couple times, and it's about as subtle as, like... I mean, it, it is the least subtle weapon in the history of human weapons development. Nuclear bombs are more discreet than the wave motion gun. They must have seen us using it back at Glisse. Five, eight, and one. But firing the wave motion gun would deplete most, deplete most of our remaining energy. That would make the Yamato totally vulnerable. Ancient Deed said that the gambling ship will tow the Yamato to safety. They need the weapon to make a great exit, and we need a way to get out once that exit is open. Neither of us can escape if we don't cooperate. We can, can't trust them. What if we fire the wave motion gun and they escape without bringing us with them? They are the ones claiming that we're the ones responsible for this war, after all. Pregnant pause. Our, our situation is worsening, even as we speak. Exactly. We can't put off this decision. What should we do? Is there anything we can do? There is. We can trust the gamma. Message from the Yamato. They have accept Message from the Yamato. They have accepted our proposal. I see. It seems the second chance gambling ship says second class gambling ship's chance of glory has come at last, Commander Yak. Is that meant to be like the the gambling equivalent of the SS or Thunderbolt? Or lightning bolt? Do not mistake our intentions, Lieutenant Nelj. Yamato, this is Walls Lang, commander of the EX-178. This is Juzo Okita, commander of the Yamato. We thank you for your proposal, Commander Lang. We have been trapped here just like you, unable to escape. We thank you as well for agreeing to our plan. Hmm, I shouldn't be surprised that second-class citizens are friendly with an inferior species. Ensign Deet will remain aboard your ship to serve as a point of contact. We hope you take that as a sign of our goodwill means she's our hostage. But we'll be enemies once more once we leave here. Understood. I look forward to exchanging files with you. Transmission ends. There won't be enough energy for our main cannon. I know. This is a promise between men. The gambling ship is approaching. Snowing beams incoming. Wow, 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 wow. Send the gambling ship to move from the line of fire. Yes, sir. Signaling. Gambling ship has cleared the line of fire. All right, then. There we go. Now you can clearly read this. I do like this as a basically in engine cutscene. <laughs> 
Exit created! But now the power has no the Yamato has no power to move on her own. The ship will now tell the Yamato from this area. That's it! Almost there! Manda, do you intend to tell the Yamato behind us indefinitely? You are an outsider here, God Lieutenant. I am the one in command of these tactics. <laughs> Unidentified craft approaching from all directions. What? That's not Gamelus. It's also not Jupiter Empire either. More aliens? The towing beams are disconnected. No! Lieutenant Nelge! My, subordinate, my subordinates have already taken control of this ship. I am the one in command now. Optimus Prime has gone. Megatron has gone to run grocery to go grocery shopping. Now I lead the Decepticons! I will report this treason upon our return. This is no treason. You're the traitor here, Commander. They are enemies to Gamelus, to His Excellency. The Gamelus ship is withdrawing from this area. Unidentified craft are commencing attack. And they're not even issuing a declaration of war. How rude. Commander, we'll leave enough energy remaining to maintain basic functions. We can't use our weapons or the wave motion barrier. And here's the catch for the difficulty for this one. For the past couple missions, we've had the wave motion barrier as a shield to help to help us fend off attacks. Ihara, we need a message to the unidentified craft that we are not hostile. I can't. They're blocking any transmissions we try to send. No! We're done for! Godai, scramble the mobile units. Take care of these new enemies. Roger. All right. Everyone's going out. Fight. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like sub and subscribe and click the little bell button to be notified whenever new episodes show up on my channel. If you really like the show, please consider backing it on Patreon. Backers will get their name in the credits and at higher levels you get episodes up to one week early and at even higher levels you can select what games that I do for my future Let's Plays. You can find my Patreon at patreon.com slash count zero O-R.